but hiyo tabia pose ni 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 utoto tu pereka na huko lakini wewe nitamtenda kwako sasa sita wewe acha wewe wewe acha wewe acha so lazima hiyo tabia pia chokora lambistic shit wewe wewe jua pose hata kutafuta kuja viboko as in me and pose we've actually done an interview on energy circle on circle at this point a viboko leta leta mko Hi guys nina coach ndani ya Jalango TV Jalango TV number one online TV na leo kwa show ni mwaletia king of the clan watagwan people long live the clan when the building mnasemaje huko kalala niaje niko fresh maisha pole pole umaskini unasema wa umaskini na kwa effect uda unasema na unaenda kuambia landlord siacha ni kufollow bro around ngori mwambie wewe ni influencer kuache ndio kuja akiambia watu so eh, kuna shawa kuna <laughs> maji moto kalala third floor wewe <laughs> bata uliki na so, nipadedi nataka nijue kalala ni jina yako real ama umejiekea tu naitwa prudence chepkruito nui eh, kalala is a nickname from high school because uh-huh. i used to spend my entire life sleeping in high school wow na si ulikuwa bright si wow ilikuwa depressing wao <laughs> alikuwa ashitanga disciplinary Why? committee so before hata tuingia high school mm-hmm. ulienda api primary Eldo Baraka Primary some amazing school. Mm-hmm. Yeah man good vibes. Yeah. Nenda huko kutoka baby class hadi class 8. It was a boarding holiday. It's joy boarding ish <laughs> day ish. Unaamua kama unalala munda huo. So it was just a free. It was vibes. I think it was a school year when it started mm-hmm. tulikuwa those pioneers. So shule ikianze kuna watoto watano. Oh, Mimi so part of our watoto watano. <laughs> and then it grew <laughs> hey, over time wow so high school na kwanza one one funny thing na una hate high school yenyu why fuck that school jesus fucking christ eh sijui walinitesa walini suspend for useless reasons alafu all then tanguka alafu nikapita psych <laughs> yeah ulipata gani mm pata a minus as in I'm, i'm going to work on it but yeah i got an a minus uh-huh. 70 78 points yeah So what was the worst thing una una, una think high school yenyu ilikufanyia? Wale ninyoa nywele had sensational hair. Wow. Nilikuwa bad bitch. Eh. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So you know the worst It thing has to be the worst. Happen. Na gideri every Friday na shit entertainment movies music, eh, movies mm-hmm. na eh hey, basically yeah. Basically. Na jina ya shule na location ya shule as niyo shule naichukia za concept. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't pinpoint nini but as a concept. Wow. Yeah. So Kalala uh, I think sisi wote tumepitia high school mm-hmm. and after high school tuna come tunapata vitu ni different kwa ground vitu kwa tunaambiwa. So what's your take on education kwanza? Um me feel like education has a point because uh, I think It has a point right yeah, as in thinking, yeah. at the end of the day kuna mse mwenye like for instance my dad is a professor so yeah school worked out for him right so do school oh, lakini no. pia shule kama si yako <laughs> aingia instagram man piga nduru <laughs> yeah, piga picha yeah. piga nduru so uh, school works but then pia usikufe na shule mm-hmm. ikifika place na realize that this not for me mm-hmm. it's allowed uh, 90% of the people we've seen when billionaires they dropped out mm-hmm. um, uh, they just said fuck school yeah mm-hmm. so hiyo pia iko on the table i said pia unaacha shule unaenda kuchill busy Vebe. Unaingia, ukiacha shule unaekelea kazi deadly. No, And one no. thing one thing about school yenye wasa nafaa kujua is that when you get when you get your degree you now start working like someone who dropped out. Utabuda utafika nyasi kwenu unapata 7 years imepita. <laughs> na ukwa degree ukinyimkamua mangombe uh, at home to society. Mm-hmm. Yeah so it's, there's a balance. Usiache shule mm-hmm. ati juliona shak the yangi na kuna followers yeah. na pia usikufe shule na maybe you have something else that's your destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow so Kalala I think mimi uh, nimekufollow sana I, I follow a lot of your things. Na wewe ni msem real sana and I'm so happy for you for that. Nataka kuuliza ushe body shame wa wewe? When do people never literally <laughs> leo <laughs> leo tu kuna msali post picha ni kifua ya boy and someone comments at nani wame leak nudes za kalala <laughs> come on you guys mimi ni mtoto wa mtu mimi niko na mzazi me get body shamed every single day mm-hmm. but saw una joke tu saw juu sima songa ni simame mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Agazina kawa. laughs> bad bitch <laughs> Yeah so I get body shamed but have you seen how I look? Huh? <laughs> Fine. Mm. Banging. <laughs> Banging. So anything wanasema? Mm, mimi nakurudishia bro. Mimi kuja kunambia nimekonda na kuambia bado umenona umejaza room. Mse tunasha si juu yako. Because there's a time uli body shame madem wanaona ile ta gangori sana wewe. Mm, Sijui kila mzani niongelee shanga mavi one alafu mimi nikiongea mna jam. Ishia, enda ukondee huko. You understand? So when you dish me shit, I'll dish shit to you. So ni goal goal. So mimi naongeanga vile nataka you literally everyone talks the way they want online about me so mimi nikuja nikwambia bro wewe umeunaona sana and of fast i make it spiritual for fuck sake it's allowed na utaniambia kitu 
wewe ukienda huko kutumia kuweka kwa status whatsapp ati oh kifo ya kalala ni kaya drogba kwa hiyo kitu watu wote via vibaya buda buda so hadi me i body shame people and for me it's allowed it's like black for being racist it's allowed it's a, it's a free world it's a free world man now so nataka kukuuliza one thing wewe unaingiliaga men sana na maboys shida yako kwa gana men Mnitaki <laughs> jusina je kimaumbo nyinyi wote. Um me don't have a problem with guys. I just feel like guys wana kuanga really outspoken and for us women we just take the shit and when we speak our truth inakuwa mademo wanapenda do but atusemi venye maboy wanapenda mademo kwa matako na si atuzui. You understand? Wewe unajitetea ama unajitetea? <laughs> as in I feel like madema tukwangi na sauti cuz at the end of the day we live in a misogynistic society right mm-hmm. so me I'm there to be the voice of women and then pia obviously madem tukwa na ujinga moja mbili ah mimi siwaachi siwaachi viboko tu tunaacha pia hapo yeah nice and easy wow so i want to know uh, like that process after high school mm-hmm. sayo unafanya kia nini nrg yeah. so kuna ile process na kwa you free after high school mm-hmm. ulikuwa unaji involved na nini Nilifanya computer inakonga tu vitu mbili leo nafanya computer driving. driving ama french alliance français so, yeah. Nilifanya computer alafu nikachoka <laughs> Ulimaliza <laughs> Computer sijamaliza <laughs> Driving sijamaliza But you know how to drive Ami Yes you know to sure. Maybe men crazy mm-hmm. but you wengine <laughs> ngori <laughs> So, I want to know how did you like ulipataje kazi ya NRG? Because you were saying that after you space but eh, <laughs> kidogo ngori. <laughs> uh me I just posted some some post on online about some gay guy I was dating. <laughs> I know, I know how that sounds. <laughs> And then kiasi kiasi my phone rings. Eh, Mr. Energy Radio, watagoa uko free uko fresh. Ebu kama hivi kiasi. So, me I'd say siku tafuta nile when you're doing something mm-hmm. do it with the all wekelea kazi and don't have like mm-hmm. atia kitu fulani yenye nakuwa kama uja achieve mm-hmm. just do what you're doing and then the things will come to you alafu ndo utachagua stuck hii stuck hii nataka hii nataka hii so, so you're just a free i was just posting my own videos covid iko nimetolewa shule siwezi enda bar niko nyumbani <laughs> enda kwa msitu bana <coughs> video <laughs> so let me ask you Uh, yo, yo pro, how, how many years in, in NRG? Uh, currently I'm on my second year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm on my second year. Nenda kuisha I think next the month. time kwa show muliko muli at muliko sana na co-host mwanzako. Kweli wangu. Tuliko sana. No, I think you had some uh, disappointment something. Yo kitu ile check kwa show ya Mwaf. Iko nini? Unajua mimi I watch the kwa time muliko na disagreement you two guys. No, but it's okay disagreement is a strong word. Eh ni koza eh So you, you, you no that? obviously we see when you meet somebody or rather when you work for radio mm-hmm. kuna kitu chemistry mm-hmm. at the end of the day lazima mkuwe na vibe mkuwe mkibonga mko on the same frequency mnaelewa hata kama mu understand yani mu understand intensity mm-hmm. so obviously being new it's like okay rada ni gani ama mama mnitaki ama na bo you get mbona tu mbona mbona miss pay chance but then it's more of training as in people might think you don't need it but you'd be surprised especially when you're four people in one room speaking for four minutes munafaku like balanciana yeah. yeah man so let me let me ask you what's your take on like kenyan music Gengeton ni noma. Kila msemo nyapendi Gengeton. Uh, Gengeton umenda, is umenda lit direct, as direct. fuck. Uh-huh. Na ni dropped a song juzi, Katelo. Uh-huh. Inaitwa uh, Kwa News. <laughs> Banga Buddha. Uh-huh. Leo lazima tukata hadi tuonekane Kwa News. <laughs> Me like Gengeton na feel wasa wapendi Gengeton. Hiyo ni kujifanya. Uh-huh. Uko mlevi, yeah. wakeka usherati unasimama. Yeah. Wakeka house music una keti. So I like Gengeton, uh-huh. but with Kenyan music niko na shida na Uh, wasani the, i wouldn't say they don't have that can i say international mindset because yeah, yeah, so. when you think of south africa we have a mapiano right yeah, when you yeah. think of nigeria we have afro vibes afro, yeah. when you think of kenya no but you see that is internal last time i'm saying ako uganda ama zimbabwe ama chad they, they, they would be like think. as in you understand and then we have big artists mm-hmm. but sijui mbona sijui we don't have many big artists mm-hmm. like nash kali okay. sauti sol is a rap mm-hmm wameisha una get like we need a catalog of artists which in Kenya I don't think we have mm-hmm. and then pia wasana kwangu amekelea wasania ti oh mnaimba kuhusu tu pombe mabangi na wasichana mm-hmm. and i'm like you have to understand in the clubs all the songs that are getting played so hadi mi leo nikiketi chini thinking of good music mm-hmm. itapata 300 views lakini like, nikisema tu what him pombe, pombe wasichana <laughs> marugtenge <laughs> numbers so msanii pia anajaribu kulipa rent so obviously they end up conforming as opposed to being artist 
Yeah, alafu pia kwa Kenya tuna support. Buda tunakuanga na segment fulani ya request hawa. <laughs> ngoma tu zote za majuu Nigeria mapiano and I'm like Buda si mweke hata tu ngoma moja X-ray. Rosafi. Wow. So even our audience tuko na shida. Mm-hmm. Mm. So first, first of all tunataka kuingia kwa Gengeton. There's a segment tumefanya hapa asubuhi mm-hmm. about Gengeton. Uh, Gengeton artists hii wamekuwa kisafa. Mm-hmm. A lot of them wanakam kwa media wanalia. So these guys walipo a platform. Mm-hmm. Gengeton unajua it's just ni ngoma tu za mtaani za mayuth yeah, za good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So but now wanakam hapo kusema oh they were used like they don't live good life. Mm-hmm. So what do you think they did wrong? They didn't do nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. You know jinga. Like you have to understand this, huh? <laughs> when you get into the entertainment industry, it's like any other business, all right? Unafa kujua, wewe ukiniambia you've been to studio 150 times without getting paid. Are you mad? Wewe unaenda place siku ya kwanza kulipi naelewa. Siku ya pili unaenda unazua na kataa naelewa. Buda, mara 36. Wacha ujinga bana. Number two, artists need to stop running to things. You get? Kuna hiyo najua msa hata kama kuambia wewe nimecheki muziki yako acha nikuchukue. Then they go kill your career. Yeah. So you need to have that understanding. Usani is not just music. You need to understand business. You need to know that whatever I'm doing can make up to millions of money. So how am I going to manage this money? So si ati umeenda gig umepewa 70k una parambilet unajua Friday next week kwa the same gig wasanii wako nayo shida uh, things like kutumiwa hiyo ni new bro hiyo ni new wewe ulikuwa umeketi hapo kujua umetumiwa mbona unangoja time na teseka ndo ubonge you understand uh, when you come here and complain like the 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 bundox incident huh? they were saying oh extra kona ndai u boys mwingine ana ndai that shows the difference in mindset cuz kwa music video tuko same kwa doba tuko pamoja but then when money comes home how you spend it and how i spend it is different so hizo ni new wasanii wanataka tu waimbe wapate mamita wahamie kile wa buy range ishe in 20 minutes life doesn't work like that so know what you're doing know where you're going know how to finance your money basic math wow so our say wagenge ton like you know sir what wengi say at waski like those groups zime zimeenda because there is a time walikuwa tu songs na trend True. but for now eh wanapata tabu so advice gani unaweza wapea ndo warudi fit wa kuwe venye walikuwa because now hata waingia ki trending um i think naweza pea wa say example ya major even though possibly feel like major is a bad example <laughs> major ni mse mwenye ameimba for like 20 years now i think right u ni mse ameimba landlord na anaeimba leo so what it means ni kuna 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 konga na hiyo element ya be versatile When time changes change with it. So with Gengeton we ikitoka akuwa na covid. So ulikuwa unaenda tu club unasikia tu Gengeton. Na you have to know Gengeton single moneka ufue ama uneka sijui washe viombo. Inataka vibes na hiyo makali wanasema kwa ngoma. So now when covid came down the clubs clo- closed down there were no events for like two years. Hapo ndo kwenye dent ilikuwa. So ni ngumu sana upate msana anasikiza hapa ni kuchembeteza na manembe tena. You right. So wasaniki tunafaa kufanya ni you be versatile. When the situation changes change with it you can't go home and be broke and then say unajua covid ilikuja na hizo mangoma zetu za club switch it up cheza nayo na get hadi mimi kuna siku itafika i'll be a pregnant woman siwezi kuwa nagumbanisha watu na mimba azinuenda uzae mtoto mjinga you know one day i'm gonna be a parent with five kids or like seven i want seven kids or like with seven kids buda huku tunazaana deadly deadly so Naiko. when you have seven Wait, kids with this economy seven ai mungu akiwa hapo buda sa sauti sol said anakuja na sahani yake <laughs> so what's up so i feel like Hey, as time changes wase wana for change na cuz that me tafika age fulani siwezi kuwa nagombanisha wasichana kwa 23 yeah, yeah. Hey, you get change with it find a way to adjust your brand to work with the situation yeah yeah so i want to ask you one question na najua pia unapenda kuingilia maboy sana so can you date a broke man ama boy or a boy acha ni nini can you date a broke <laughs> boy nitakuwa ni baby yes <laughs> um i wouldn't say yes or no but most probably not because mimi nitakudharau mimi acha sikudanganye mimi niko na ganji kuliko my guy hizo vimbo utasugua deadly ay 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 my problem is yes you'd be a fun guy i love you i won't ask you to buy me things but buda utateseka kwa hiyo nyumba eh nafika home when are your 1500 yako buda I wouldn't let kwanza chukua ibra peleka kwa bedroom. So I wouldn't date them with the reason ya minda kutesa alafu itakuwa toxic marriage alafu tutaachana. But the same way I wouldn't date a guy with a lot of money because number one if a guy has a lot of money you understand atakudharau number one. But adi uh, a rich man you have to realize ana time yako. Una get as in babe for me to take you to Dubai for three months I need to go to the office at 3 am. Alafu hiyo office unapata kuna msuperfly na mleteanga maji. 
na na and I get to know him. You get so like rich men also don't have time to actually interact with you and then they use money to cover up for that situation. Na mi musi nika hapo waishi na hizo ganja zako. Malaya we. So what's your take na madem wana date masponyo? Buda mtoto wako atadinyo na sponyo utati. Huyo kijana huyo kijana unakataa sasa hii atadinyo mtoto wako deadly deadly. Me I don't understand that situation because number one, uh oh, as in babe as in my, as in you have to deal with this guy every single end month. Alafu na kudinya bro. As in hizo hizo guado ni mzee kuko niko. Mzee hapo mwaga ndani yako. Easy. I don't understand that concept. I don't understand how someone will fuck you and take your energy and your body count for 40k. Alafu hiyo 40k unapeleka besti zako diani. Buda mingi kwa demo sponyo ndo nakula one man. One man. Mimi naenda huko na sweatiwa na gubaba. Alafu unaitisha sijui cocktail. Blue Island. Bitch, get the fuck out. As in, I don't understand that concept. I I na understanding that the wasana semanga ni Bible, the beautiful ones are noted born. So ata kudinya utagonga 30 ana ku dispose next. So for how long will you live that life? Then you have to realize after umetumika hivyo. Ain't nobody gonna want you. Because umetumika sana. Wewe gauka slippers ya glogi. Wow. So ah uh, Kalala, usha ume meet Kibe? For sure. Yeah. Kibeni msee ina gani because a lot of people wana hate a lot of people love him so you know kuteke yako unafikiri acha unafikiri unafikiri kibeni msee gani um nime meet so si atinafikiri yeah. uh, when you get to know kibe ni msee ni normal guy you get uh ni normal guy or rather at least that's how I interacted with him cuz ilikuwa inafika deep place and niambia okay when you do your videos cuz i get to have the same kind of energy keep it brief have talking points no usigombanisha say 3 minutes no one will listen to that shit so that's yo niyo that's the relationship between us and ulem center vuta nombe cheki bro kuna issue guli iko hivi na hivi na hivyo unaje akupea advice 1212 so maybe has had different experiences with others cuz hadi mimi na joke kuna sana nipenda na kuna sana nichukia juu nilimtusi juu kwa nufala you understand so maybe also me interact now on other grounds but with me it was a good experience kabisa kabisa is a good person and no and then i like i like the thing kibe says things that Everyone is feeling it. <laughs> As in bro, wase ujifanya tu wazaji. But he says he says the things that wase wana feel but wanashindwa kusema. So me I like that about him. Wow. Yeah, lakini kuna ujinga zingine anasema. The other day he said that ati wewe una date boy ako na bibi. Una get na jacha bibi. I agree with that. So kuna kuanga na sense lakini tu kuna siku zingine anaonganga tu mavi. <laughs> yeah, anatapika tu. <laughs> yeah, so uh, another question ni uh, celebrity celebrities wengi Welcome like see like life on social media it's wanaishi poa wako na magari mm. then years zikipita unapata hawa say eh kumbe ah say kwa ground like for example eh wakina Omosh juzi likutusumbu like wasi wamechoka kuja wasi kulialia so what's your take on these life celebrities wanaishi i feel like celebrities they usually feel pressure okay let me give an example of me mini kalala but pia mini prudence all right so in real life i'm prudence i know where i am i know my financial status but the brand is kalala you get So wasanii wana kongo me mix hizi vitu mbili. Wewe mm-hmm. unaenda unaenda kudanganya sasa uko na magari sijui unaishi wapi. Na wewe unajua deep down wewe ni mbogi ya yole. You understand? Yeah. So ni unnecessary pressure nyo wasanii wana feel. Then in our industry to make create image uh, for you to be a celeb and have clients, you need to be dressing up, you need to be going to rich places, you need to have celebrity friends, which is not the case. Live your life. Utakufa depression na celebrity friends utakuwa Dubai. <laughs> Waki celebrate venye moja kuna event na wewe unakufa huko. Mm-hmm. So wasanii wanafaa tulie. Mm-hmm. Spend your money wisely mm-hmm. and then tunafaa kuacha hii hand to mouth. Ni msema tu. Yeah. Msanii unaenda gig unapata doi inaingia, una dish yeah. unajua kesho kuko. Yeah. Unaenda una shoot episode moja na kukanja, unajua next week tuta shoot, utanikanja. Mm-hmm. Don't leave that life. Savings ni important. Nyasha alisema usitumie dozi zako kwa vitu za ufala. Mm-hmm. And don't spend your money trying to show people that you have money. Mm-hmm. You'll end up broke. Wow. Wasanii wanafaa cha ujinga. Ukienda kwa club, mi nikienda club msana mbe, yeye ni fan wangu. Ni azin, animbae mzinga jo ni follow. <laughs> Ani unfollow Buda. Unasema mzinga yako anunue yake. Mi na buy follow yako. <laughs> Kwenda <laughs> huko. As in don't feel that pressure. You know kuna msanii ata feel hey, fuck. Ah seba na wamenikona. Mm-hmm. Then you end up buying a 9000 drink na kwa mfuko uko na 10. Natojalipa ke. Buda. <laughs> Nalo naambia best acha njekele. Hey. Nenda shoot hapa karibu na kwako. Buda una base. Una base. <laughs> the only person mwenye anakubalia kutokuwa na nyumba ni Elon Musk. Wow. <laughs> Nyingine <Sikila laughs> bana rudi home, rudi shule. <laughs> 
Wow. So Kalala mimi nataka nijue kitu moja. Like we have seen uh, ma celebrities wa bigi wamenge kwa politics. Mm-hmm. Likes of Baha, uh, Ekodida, Jalas, wasi wengi sana. Wona wameacha domob kwa entertainment. Mm-hmm. Mseka EVJ ameacha domob huku ma corporate nini ameamua. What do you think inafanya wanaingia kwa politics? Maganji, everybody goes where there's money bro. Hapa kuna okay money, hapa kuna fantastic money. That's what's up. Uh, mimi na feel uh, okay, but wasanii tumeanza ujinga ku confuse followers na kura. Hizi vitu mbili si vitu same. Unajua followers wako ni vijana. Msaizi amka kwenda polling station. Yako na hangi dead. Wasa wanapiga kura ni wazazi wenyewe wameona politics 30 years straight. So na feel na kuanga emotional na necessary. But wacha wajaribu man, wakilemwa atarudi tu. Natoka tango mazao. <laughs> Bisho takataka huko. Utawasikiza kabisa. Kama nani? Kivivi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, kuna story imekuwa ki trend. Uh, I think Pose amekuwa kiingia ma DM za ma, za madem mbaya. Mm. Alafu aki anakuita saa sita usiku kukata na ku block, anakuambia umbo eh nini. <laughs> so what's your take on? Do you have you met Will Paul before? I have. He actually come for an interview na show. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh your story on ufala. But you see <laughs> Ini kitu wasa wagetingi. Because someone is a celeb, it doesn't make them less of a stupid, silly man. You get? Bado tu kuna ile ujinga yake uvijana. You understand? And then me, I also have a problem with, like, you've seen like 15 girls coming to Nairobi gossip. So mbona kislide kwa DM yako adi unakimbia kunini? Wa unadhani sasa wendo mdifferent. As in, as in, adi wea fikiria. But, yota bia poze, ni, 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 utoto tu. Pereka na uko. Lakini, Uni tamtaenda kwa kosa sita wewe acha wewe wewe acha wewe acha So lazima hiyo tabia pia Chokora la mbistic sheets Wewe unajua pose hata kutafuta kuja viboko as in me and pose we've actually done an interview on energy circle on circle at this point a viboko leta leta mko leta leta eh ushipiga boy wote kwa bwana miss in violent mimi viboko zangu ni za hapa you know before you get into a fight with someone you have to understand akikuangalia na anapanda confidence so unambomoa tu na mdomo unambomoa na mdomo lakini unajua pia mdomo huko kuna msia anaweza kutusi wi ikudunge adu jaribu mimi ndo mse mimi ndo mse unatusi mse mbaya buda surewe mnakani kama mako alikatia babako akiwa mlevi so kala i want to know kumekuwa na like online sign big uh, there's a lot of station kuna Eve Mongai yeah. kuna Ida Lango TV mm-hmm. kuna kina Pluto mm-hmm. so i think online imekuwa big True. so what's your take on uh, like online imepita dizi ma TV ma nini mm, i think i like that because in a mancha times in a change kulikuwa time plan TV likuwa the end thing and mm-hmm. bila kama uko kwa TV wasa kujui mm-hmm. but with the internet uh, si lazima ukue kwa TV now you guys know how walking into a media house and actually getting a job is a task. <laughs> So at least it will be na kupea chance ya kuanza kit yako and it actually works. I think uh, Eve had like 500k subscribers yeah. which is a good thing but me you jinga moja but then when money comes home how you spend it and how I spend it oh, is different. So hizo ni on you. Wasanii wanataka tu waimbe, wapate mamita, wahamie kile, wa buy range ishe in 20 minutes. Life doesn't work like that. Wow. So know what you're doing, know where you're going, know how to finance your money, basic math. Wow. So Ah wasi wagenge tone like you know sa watu wengi sasa hatuwaski like those groups zime zimeenda because there is a time when kuna songs na trend True. but for now eh wanapata tabu so advice gani unaweza wapea ndo warudi fit wa kuwe venye walikuwa because now hata waingia ki trending um i think naweza pea wase example ya major even though possibly feel like major is a bad example <laughs> major ni mse mwenye ameimba for like 20 years now i think right uni mse ameimba landlord na anaweza imba lewa So what it means ni kuna 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 konga na hiyo element ya be versatile. When time changes, change with it. So with Gengeton, we ikitoka akuwa na COVID. So ulikuwa unaenda tu club unasikia tu Gengeton. Na you have to know Gengeton single moneka ufue. Ama uneka sijui washe viombo. Inataka vibes na hiyo makali wanasema kwa ngoma. So now when COVID came down, the clubs clo- closed down, there were no events for like two years. Hapo ndo kwenye dent ilikuwa. So ni ngumu sana upate msana nasikiza hapa ni kuchembeteza na manembe tena. <laughs> You're right. So wasanii kitu wanafaa kufanya ni you be versatile. When the situation changes, change with it. You can't go home and be broke and then say unajua covid ilikuja na hizo mangoma zetu za club. Switch it up. Cheza nayo. Na get. Hadi mimi kuna siku itafika I'll be a pregnant woman. Siwezi kuwa nagumbanisha watu na mimba. Azinu enda uzae mtoto mjinga. You know One day I'm going to be a parent with five kids or like seven, I want seven kids. Or like with seven kids. Buda, huku tunazaana deadly, deadly. So like, when you have seven wait, kids with this economy seven. Ay Mungu akiwa hapo Buda. Sa, 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 s
<laughs> so what's up? So I feel like eh hey, as time changes wase on for change now cuz that limit of age flani says kwa na gumbanisha stana ko 23 Uh, you get change with it find a way to adjust your brand to work with the situation yeah yeah so i want to ask you one question na najua pia unapenda kuingilia maboy sana so can you date a broke man ama boy or a boy acha nini can you date a broke <laughs> boy nitakuwa ni baby sana <laughs> um i wouldn't say yes or no but most probably not because mimi nitakudharau mimi hiyo chance kudanganya mimi niko na ganji kuliko my guy hizo vimbo utasugua deadly ay 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 my problem is yes you'd be a fun guy i love you i won't ask you to buy me things but buda utateseka kwa hiyo nyumba eh hey, nafika home when are you 1500 yako buda ebu let kwanza chukua ibra peleka kwa bedroom so i wouldn't date them with the reason ya mimi ndakutesa alafu itakuwa toxic marriage alafu tutaachana but the same way i wouldn't date a guy with a lot of money because number one if a guy has a lot of money you understand atakudharau number one but adi uh, a rich man you have to realize ana time yako una get as in babe for me to take you to dubai for three months i need to go to the office at 3 am alafu hiyo office unapata kuna msuperfly na mleteanga maji <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, and I get to know him. You get so like rich men also don't have time to actually interact with you and then they use money to cover for that situation. Na mi musi nika hapo waishi na hizo ganji zako. Malaya we. So what's your take na madem wana date masponyo? Buda mtoto wako atadinywa na sponyo utati. Huyo kijana huyo kijana unakataa sasa hii atadinywa mtoto wako deadly deadly. Me I don't understand that situation because number one, uh Oh as in babe as in my as in you have to deal with this guy every single end month alafu una kudinya bro as in hizo hizo guardo ni mzee kuko niko mzee au mwaga ndani yako easy i don't understand that concept i don't understand how someone will fuck you and take your energy and your body count for 40k alafu hiyo 40k unapeleka best zako diani Buda mingi kwa demo sponyo ndo nakula one man one man mimi naenda huko na sweatiwa na gubaba alafu unaitisha sijui cocktail blue island beach get the fuck out as in i don't understand that concept i i na understanding that the wasana semanga ni bible the beautiful ones are noted born so atakudinya utagonga 30 ana ku dispose next so for how long will you live that life then you have to realize after umetumika hivyo Ain't nobody go want you. Because we to be kasala. Wow. So, ah uh, Kalala, you should have met Kibe? For sure. Yeah. Kibe ni msee ina gani because a lot of people wanna hate, a lot of people love him. So, you know, take yako nafikiri, acha unafikiri. Unafikiri Kibe ni msee mgani? Um, ni me meet so si ati nafikiri. Ah uh, when you get to know Kibe, ni msee ni normal guy. You get? Uh ni a normal guy or rather at least that's how I interacted with him because ilikuwa inafika the place and niambia okay when you do your videos because i get to have the same kind of energy keep it brief have talking points no usigombanisha say three minutes no one will listen to that shit so that's yo ni that's the relationship between us inule msenta vuta nimbe check bro kuna issue guli iko hivi na hivi na hivi unaje Uh, kupe advice one to one to so maybe has had different experiences with others because hadi mimi na jo kuna wasa wananipenda na kuna wasa wananichukia juu nilimtusi juu kwa nufala you understand so maybe wasa wame interact now on other grounds but with me it was a good experience kabisa kabisa He's a good person and no and then i like i like the thing kibe says things that everyone is feeling it as in bro <laughs> but he says he says the things that wasa wana feel but wana shindwa kusema so me i like that about him Yeah, lakini kuna ujinga zingine anasema kaje the other day he said that at we una date boy yako na bibi una get na jacha bibi i agree with that so kuna kuanga na sense lakini tu kuna siku zingine anaonganga tu mavi yeah anatapika tu yeah so uh, another question ni uh, celebrities wengi woke um, like see like life on social media it's wanaishi poa wako na magari mm-hmm. then years zikipita unapata ah say eh kumbe ah say kwa ground like for example eh wakina Omosh juzi kutusumbu like wase wametoka kuja wase kulialia so what's your take on these life celebrities wanaishi i feel like celebrities they usually feel pressure okay let me give an example of me mini kalala but pia mini prudence all right so in real life i'm prudence i know where i am i know my financial status but the brand is kalala you get so wasanii wana kuongo me mix hizi vitu mbili wewe unaenda unaenda kudanganya sio uko na magari sijui unaishi wapi na wewe unajua deep down wewe ni mbogia yoyole 
<laughs> you understand yeah. so ni unnecessary pressure nyo wasani wana feel then in our industry to make create image uh, for you to be a celeb and have clients you need to be dressing up you need to be going to rich places you need to have celebrity friends which is not the case live your life utakufa depression na celebrity friends utakuwa dubai <laughs> waki celebrate venye moja ako na event na wewe unakufa huko mm-hmm. so wasani wana fa tulie spend your money wisely and then tunafa kuacha e hand to mouth when me sema tu msani unaenda gig unapata doi na ingia una dish unajua kesho uko huko unaenda una shoot episode moja na kukanja au unajua next week tuta shoot utanikanja don't live that life savings ni important nyasha disema usitumie dozi zako kwa vitu za ufala and don't spend your money trying to show people that you have money you will end up broke wasanii wanafaa cha ujinga ukienda kwa club mi nikienda club msana niambie yeye ni fan wangu ni azin animbae mzinga jo na ni follow ani unfollow buda Kuna sema mzinga yako anunue yake. Mimi na buy follow yako. Kwenda huko. <laughs> As in don't feel that pressure. Unajua kuna msanii ata feel hey, fuck. Ah seba no amenikona. Then you end up buying a 9000 drink na kumfuko uko na tank. Na tu hujalipa ke. Buda. <laughs> Nalo naambia best acha nijekele. Hey. Nenda shoot hapa karibu na kwako. Buda una base, una base. The only person mwenye anakubalia kutokuwa na nyumba ni Elon Musk. Wow. Sikila. <laughs> Nyi wengine bana rudi home, rudi shule. <laughs> Wow. So kalala mimi nataka nijue kitu moja. Like we have seen uh, ma celebrities wa bigi wameingia kwa politics. Mm-hmm. Likes of Baha, uh, Ekodida, Jalas, wasi wengi sana. Huna wameacha domob kwa entertainment. Mm-hmm. Msekae VJ ameacha domob huku ma corporate nini ameamua. What do you think inafanya wanaingia kwa politics? Maganji, everybody goes where there's money, bro. Hapa kuna okay money, hapa kuna fantastic money. That's what's up. Uh, mimi na feel uh, okay, but wasani tumeanza ujinga ku confuse followers na kura. Hizi vitu mbili si vitu same. Unajua followers wako ni vijana. Msaizi amka kwenda polling station. Yako na hangi dead. Wasa wanapiga kura ni wazazi wenyewe wameona politics 30 years straight. So na feel na kuanga emotional na necessary. But wacha wajaribu man, wakilemo atarudi tu. Natoka tango mazao. <laughs> Disho takataka huko. Utawasikiza kabisa. Kama nani? Kivivi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, kuna story imekuwa ki trend. Uh, I think Pozea amekuwa kiingia ma DM za za madem baya. Alafu aki anakuita saa sita usiku kukataa na kublock anakuambia umbo eh nini. So what's your take on? Do you have you met Will Paul before? I have. He's actually come for an interview in a show. Uh-huh. Yeah and uh hiyo story ni ufala but you see hii <laughs> ni kitu wasao getting because someone is a celeb it doesn't make them less of a stupid silly man you get bado tu kuna ile ujinga yake uvijana you understand and then me i also have a problem with like you've seen like 15 girls coming to Nairobi gossip so mbona ki slide kwa demo yako hadi unakimbia kunini wewe unadhani sasa wewe ndo different as in as in hadi wewe fikiria but hiyo tabia pose ni 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 mtoto tu pereka na huko lakini wewe ni tamtaenda kwako sasa sita wewe waacha wewe wewe waacha wewe waacha so unasema hiyo tabia pia chokora la mbistic sheets <laughs> Wewe wewe ni wapoze hata kutafuta kuja viboko as in me and Pose we've actually done an uh, interview on energy circle I was on circle at this point a viboko leta leta mko leta leta eh yeah. ushipiga boy wote kwa bana miss in violent mimi viboko zangu ni za hapa you know before you get into a fight with someone you have to understand akikuangalia na anapanda confidence so una mbomoa tu na mdomo una mbomoa na mdomo lakini unajua pia mdomo huko kuna msia anaweza kutusi with ikudungi adu jaribu mimi ndo mse mimi ndo mse ula tusimse mbaya buda eh wow. surewe mnakani kama mako alikatia babako akiwa mlevi <laughs> so kala yeah. i want to know kumekuwa na like online sign big mm-hmm. there's a lot of station kuna ev mongai yeah. kuna ijalango tv kuna mm-hmm. kina pluto mm-hmm. so i think online imekuwa big True. so what's your take on uh, like online imepita dizi ma tv manini Mm, I think I like that because in a manisha times na change. Kulikuwa time flani TV ilikuwa the end thing and mm-hmm. bila kama uko kwa TV wasawa kujui. Mm-hmm. But with the internet uh, si lazima ukue kwa TV. Now you guys know how walking into a media house and actually getting a job is a task. <laughs> you know, so at least itu bina kupea chance ya kuanza kiti yako mm-hmm. and it actually works. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Eve had like 500k subscribers yeah. which is a good thing but me iujinga tickets.com mm-hmm. tume collab na Saki it's called Blossom and Hope. Mm-hmm. So ideally ukibuy it kwa moja mm-hmm unaeka mademo wawili in school for a whole year so we having the event tomorrow it's going to be good vibes great energy and then we are going to transmara we are going to transmara na mimi najua situation huko so the first stop we are making ni transmara uko kap chumbe ko bome to lol masani ndani uko ndani data sense jo ni msewa hizo area buda 
ushejaribu sports like kukimbia kimbia <laughs> funny story uh, and <laughs> najua wakalea fast uh, but actually really fast but see <laughs> as in <laughs> yeye naweza kimbia but siyo kukimbia di 42 kilometers huyu yeah. jamaa alikimbia kutoka thika hadi tao mm-hmm. in less than 2 hours Maze, I can't do that shit. I can me on Taliban bro. So I'm fast but ile unafukuzwa na dogi ama makarao ama bouncer. Eh ama umesikia tia gas. Wala. As in me I'm fast as long as I've been provoked to be fast. So that's why una. Yeah. Kindo time una kwa fast. Basi. So um sector ka camp ku support hii initiative. Kwa that able explain to vizuri deep why are you doing this thing? Um for the longest time na kwanga nimelia mm-hmm. sex is optional, mm-hmm. condoms are free, mm-hmm. pads is compulsory. No, uh, menstruation is compulsory, pads are for sale. Mm-hmm. Ebu just let that sink in for a minute. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Yaani ose wana wanaogopa ukimwi na mamimba lakini acha tu darao na wakanya tuza acha na acha tu acha tu acha tu kabukimwi kwanza that doesn't make sense to me if you wanna be reckless and have reckless sex shauri yako kama unajipenda ndio unwe kondo but then pad kasi na pesa buda damu ijui damu hiyo inachirizika tu polite you know so i realize it, it's not a wake up in the morning one day and it works we can start with acha sisi tupeane until maybe ni ende ni tisha kura we change the laws vote for me 2032 <laughs> yeah so ni initiative ya badala ya kuambia wase eh changeni do tunaingia kwa group we could as well sell something that people like and then we take their money to do the chat ndo man tuliamua acha tukue na event for more good vibes tukate DJ mziki so it's happening pale Seraf Lounge then Spirit Road come through na bite kwa mtikes lakini pia kutakuwa na matiko eh, kwa entrance and city kwa tuna buy to jibambe ama itabo hiyo tiko come to hata kama unakuja kuzunguka 2 minutes uende due the point of the ticket is for us to be able to buy pads for our, our daughters and our sisters uko nje so that's the initiative and shout out to Saki Blossom and Hope you are saying one more so maybe you know each channel iko na watu half a million mm-hmm. so maybe kuna msee <laughs> follow <laughs> tulia maybe kuna msee ah uh, maybe si msee shero jamii sije piga shere sije kutumieni drug tanguliza liwe like serious so maybe kuna msee si mtu wa mapati shere nini ah wewe unajua hata na mimi check maybe kuna msee si mtu wa shere yako maybe diaspora because fan base yetu ni nje angependa ku support initiative anaweza ku like anaweza accessage ya a support initiative Um, uh, just like i said uh adi si lazima ukam your event physically because it's actually just good vibes mm-hmm. you can even just buy the ticket and not show up that's if you want to support because mm-hmm. we didn't want to have it till number nye nikapia tuna itafadhali you know idea. just buy that ticket pay bist yako mwenye kona Nairobi or something like that or you can also you can also reach out to my page mm-hmm. and then i can show you how we can connect and then check with afanya cause ni ngumu maze ni ngumu hadi kwenye tunaenda we like had an idea cuz there are places also kuna clean water mm-hmm. you can give them reusable pads mm-hmm. but he place bana ni ocha hadi maji ya kunywa ni ya mtoni na chemsho mm-hmm. so you see even the, we need tunataje your strength i say mm-hmm. so we do the small we can and then as time goes in a grow so you can reach out to me instagram facebook come when you tiktok it's king kalala across all platforms come through niambe kalala mimi ndai kwa support na kushow radani gani wow so there are three things mtu akifanya atakudhi ukinyamba chungo as in what the fuck nigga hewa ni kila mse number two, kawe ni chokora unajua wase bana umekuja club hauna mm. pesa hauna place ya kulala <laughs> alafu ndo umeshika <laughs> leo tu nale hiyo <laughs> tabia unibo and last but not least if you meet me in the streets mm-hmm. and you act like we know each other nenda kutusi utati most no english have not come miss mama ko mkuu nenda kuvuruga deadly don't as in give me my respect unijui i could be having a bad day maybe I don't like your face you know the, typical things you know as in me can approach realize me nimse niko na feelings i have mood swings and maybe i'm not in the best of days na usikuje hapo kinichekesha leo kuna mama laya flana imeka matukumo na kongo mbeba we malaya takataka wewe shia Mwanambia ni No as in you wouldn't tell that to a random chick in town you wouldn't tell that to your friend's sister but when you meona siku 20 minutes ko internet ndani mimi yanko yako takuvuruga deadly eh mimi ni fan then kuwa na manners mimi fans wangu wana kerere fans wangu unajelewa hapa si tukurusha mdomo ati juli pewa yeah simple wow so last word kwa wasiojalango tv anything you like to share with them 
Wako followers ni wengi yo. Yalango ni Depression is a state where your mind is using you. Your mind inakwambia I'll define you by your weaknesses. You're never gonna come out of this and you're by yourself. So usikubali. Uh, number two, usikompete na wenzako. But hiyo element ya wivu iko. Iko, hiyo sitakataza. Utaona msa amepata kitu kwa za <clears throat> inakusumbua. But jite ka meeting jiambie your rossi yangu. Work on your journey. Work on yourself. Usicheze na maisha mse mwingine. Work on yourself. Itajipa. Na usikuwe mjinga. Usikuwe mjinga. Ini for the ladies. Usikuwe mjinga. Vitu umesikia madema mfanyua na masponyo huku. Wamefanyua na wababas na wanaija. Before you get yourself into that situation. Usiakt ni kawa weyu. Kwa zijuna. Anything can happen to anyone. So be smart. Work on yourself. Follow me on Instagram. And talk to somebody. Kila msea kona shida. Talk to somebody. Especially boy child. Hii hey. ujinga ya gangster. Eh, Mini kufreshi buda. Takufa. Talk to someone. Men are allowed to cry. Mbio mbio tu. Kamoja tu. Kamoja tu. Kara, talk to kara, someone. Kara, kara, kara. Wase wa ejetu wana maliza wa depression. Na ni depression ya anxiety. Unajua kuna hili depression flani ya. Yo 35 years. You have 7 kids. You don't know how you're gonna pay fees. Yo ni depression ya life ya. Yo ni stress. But this is tunile depression ya anxiety. Wao una realize eh bana nienda shule na umse bana umse kwa majuu kwa na gari mama ko pia nakwambia wewe kwani wewe uoi so calm down don't be anxious pole pole tu unaweza pata unda kumoko kwa 36 wao unakula pressure ukiwa 23 unataka kujinyonga time relax enjoy the journey learn the things you're supposed to learn and the podcast to leo uchome kwa niko nini and then later on understand okay point ni ukienda kwa podcast usilewe sawa sawa you know experience learn understand but don't depress wow. polite wow so guys tumekuwa na kalala tume enjoy i think ako so wise na ni mdogo sana hiyo net wewe ni mdogo so guys <laughs> ingia kwa comment tuambie what do you think about kalala unajua ni mse open minded mbaya yeah, yeah so i think ingia kwa comment tuambie unafikiri nini kumuhusu at least ajipate hapa asome vitu watu wanafikiria hii comment ina kwa gana mambo wasio wala mdomo uh, utaweza leta 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 <laughs> ukutu ukutu as in honestly feel like kuna msana za ntoko mdome buka wow buka viboko ah. kuna watu wanapiga mdomo kam kam leo tunapanguza na mavi hiyo kam so guys we are done it's a wrap it's a wrap